Africans to live in peace with one another for national economic growth and development. Dr. Hamzat gave the charge in Lagos at the Idel Kabe prayer held at Dodam Barak's praying ground, Obalindi, Lagos. The deputy governor explained that when there is peace in the land, it brings about stability and economy will be vibrant, adding that lack of peace brings about underdevelopment and poverty. It's essential and it's about um, strong belief in, in, your, in your promises. So whatever we promise ourselves in terms of agreement, we should try as much as possible to keep to it and to be fair to each other, to be caring to each other. So if we, if, if we take on that principle, you know, all this insurgency, kidnapping and the rest is certainly not take place. So my appeal is for all of us Nigerians to abide by that principle of fairness and love for each other. That whatever grievances we have, we can certainly resolve it amicably. So I want to wish everybody happy Eid and may Almighty Allah allow us to witness many more. In his sermon, the chief Imam Suleiman Abunola called for peaceful coexistence, sacrifice for one another, and love, noting Islam as a religion that does not encourage hatred and killing. He therefore urged arms of government, civil servants, and every stakeholder in governance charged with the responsibilities of delivering dividends of democracy to discharge their duties without favor and discrimination. The chief imam also appealed to government to see religious leaders as partners in reaching out to the vulnerable and grassroots members of the society. Don't disagree yourself. Don't speak yourself. In recent times, there have been agitations by some Nigerian constitution, coupled with the increase in the incident of insurgency and the kidnapping among others. As a result of this, they just died that the lost private and public properties have been destroyed. It is the constitutional duty of the government to protect the rights and property of the citizens. However, government work must make up with responsibility. I urge the legislative, the judiciary, the civil servant, politicians and any stakeholders of government charged with the responsibility of good government and delivery of the treatment of democracy to discharge their duty without favor and discrimination. Without favor and discrimination. They should be aware that they will be held accountable for their stewardship. President Muhammadu Buhari in Dusima Katsi.